More flash flood warnings tonight after water washed away roads, at least one home, and left two people dead last night. I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us this evening. Larimer County officials do tell us there are no other reports of people who have died or are hurt. Today, Larimer County told us the two people killed were mother and daughter. The sheriff's office says they were in a camper in the hazard zone and the waters tore that camper apart. Here's the area where those flash floods pushed through last night. It's northwest of Loveland and north of Drake. The water damaged small communities as well as campgrounds. Copter 4 was over that area today as crews were out this morning surveying the damage to the homes and roads in the area. That downpour caused this flash flood and it only lasted about 20 minutes, but it dropped almost an inch of rain in that time. Last night was definitely a demonstration of what can happen in a burn area and how fast flash flash flooding can occur. Uh, these areas were part of that risk assessment and they all were part of the high hazard risk areas. First alert meteorologist Dave Aguilera is in the weather center tonight and Dave an inch doesn't sound like a threatening amount of water. It, you're exactly right. Yeah, we get an inch in downtown, might have some minor street flooding and that type of thing, but when it's near a burn scar, you don't have any trees or vegetation to hold that water. So you could just see that debris flowing into all the creeks and the rivers and really causing problems up there. And it may take a couple of years for a lot of those burn scars to recover from a situation like that. Now, we're going to talk about Larimer County in a bit, but I do want to point out some areas that had problems today. I-70 was closed briefly near uh, Glenwood Canyon because of thunderstorms through there. It's open right now. And then near Granby, we had some flood, flood warnings going on for heavy rain up in that area. And this region you're talking about that got really hit last night north of Glenhaven here had some thunderstorms go through today, but certainly nothing like what they saw last night. And in some cases, it was an over an inch in some of those creeks. To 